Modern artists engaged with forms, techniques, aesthetics that are encountered in early scientific photography. So we were examining a number of works produced from around about 1925 through to about 1979. We begin with Laszlo Maholi Nagy and his photograms. These are cameraless images produced by passing light over and across different objects directly onto photographic paper. Maholi pointed very directly to the ways in which his photograms draw on the lessons of, of scientific imagery, including X-ray and photographs of electrical charges, which were also produced without cameras. For Maholi, that kind of early experimentation had the potential to show artists everything that was truly modern about photography as a medium. And when artists picked up on that example, he believed their work held important social possibilities, that it would educate people in, in new ways to see the world, perceive the world, think about the world, and, and also potentially to act within the world. If we jump forward to 1958, we see a very different relationship between art and science in the work of Berenice Abbott. These were made at MIT and they were intended as illustrations for a high school physics textbook. They illustrate the laws of physics, particularly the laws of motion. There is a real technical and aesthetic refinement that kind of testify to, to Abbott's credentials as an artist and also reveal her familiarity with the European avant-garde. That work for Abbott marked an effort to democratise the understanding of science, to make these laws that govern the world understandable and accessible to a wide public. The series received funding from the US government only after the Russians launched Sputnik, their satellite, and so they're kind of part of the, the, the science wars within the Cold War, an effort to educate a new generation of scientists who could kind of rival those of the Soviet Union. The room finishes in 1979 with two collages produced by the American artist Hollis Frampton. In one of these he takes one of uh, Moybridge's famous motion studies and places it in dialogue with a send-up that he produced of this that shows an apple advancing, along with an advert for shoes that also uses Moybridge's kind of famous gridded format. That series stages uh, a shift in understanding of photography away from an investigative tool that could help us see the world differently to understand it in, in new ways and onto an understanding of photography as part of a wider commercial image culture the function of which is, is really to make us buy things.